We have done the first round draft. So now we have to do a second round draft. It's just the way it works, right? And then maybe third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Seventh will probably be rough. Um, so will the other ones, most likely. I think with two, we still kind of stand a chance. So two should be good. Three, well, we'll I, I honestly don't know. We'll find out, I suppose. Because some players' draft positions actually shocked me. So, yeah. Um, not only is this just sort of like, I don't know, a fancy draft. But it's also sort of fun. Because I get to find out some of the players that were drafted maybe later or earlier than I thought. So, boom. Let's do it. Randomize the team here. Uh, I'm just going to do it for a while again. I like that the colors don't flash everywhere anymore. That's great. Um, but I'm going to stop right about now. We get... Of course we do. Owner mode, no thank you. Fantasy draft, yes, please. Head coach edit lines, jabroni. Don't even think about it. Player morale on. All right, I think we are good to go there. I just need to change some of the settings so that, you know, injuries are off and whatever. All right, morale meetings turned off. Injuries are off. Let's see which... 23. Okay, well... There should still be good players then. At least, once again, we get kind of like back-to-back -back picks, so that is a positive. So both Patrice and Roman Yossi were taken in the second round. So probably one of these guys. I'm kind of leaning towards Roman Yossi. I'm going to be honest here. I think, yeah, he's he's unreal. Let's, let's take Yossi. Let's go for it. Well, Bergeron's still here, so I'm probably going to take Bergeron. But let's just see if there's anyone else here. Oh, my word. See, like Mark Stone, sixth round. And a bunch of firsts, bunch of firsts, bunch of firsts. Okay, so we're taking Patrice. But Jeff Petrie? Oh, he better still be there. That's a long way away, though, but hopefully we can get him. He is still here, the absolute mad lad. Second round, 2006. All right, sign him up. Boom, there we go. That's huge. I feel like goalies are, you know, we can probably get a very good goalie in the second round. I'm not too worried about that. Perron, was he like third or something? Oh, he was first, actually. Okay. We can make an undrafted team. Holy smokes, Giordano, Marchiso, Rupe Hints. That's a different one. That's a guy we don't take very often. Very good deal. 85 overall. Yeah, let's, let's... Pick him up, and then maybe we should look at a goalie. I'm not too sure how many goalies. There's probably still a lot of goalies left, so I'm not thinking... Ey, actually, we're already down to 86. Okay, sixth round, sixth round, undrafted. Come on, there's got to be a second rounder somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Ned. We get Ned's declassified as our goalie. I'm down with that, actually. And then we'll have Jake Allen, so we'll just have two very solid goaltenders. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. So, there's 284 goaltenders, which... Wait, no. Yeah. Was... I'm drawing a blank. Was it 85 or 84 before that? Okay, yeah, they're both 84, so there there we have it. Justin Falk. Yeah, he went 37th overall, so let's go ahead and pick him up. The contract isn't the best. We might struggle, but once again, I always end up, you know, sort of finding a way, so I think we'll be all right. Tomas Tatar, 4.5 milli, 60th overall. There you go, 84 overall. Very solid player. Edmondson. That's a, that's a good one right there. Second round. Ah, Kapanen. Okay, that was close. So yeah, let's let's go with Edmondson for now, but we are going to have four defensemen, so need some forwards here soon. Kelly Yarncrook. They're, yeah, perfect. Second round, 51st overall, 2010, 83 overall. Only two milli. It's a good pickup right there. We have zero right wingers currently. I'm just finding this out now. Yeah, I knew Hornquist went super late. Okay, so Silverberg, 83 overall, 5.2 million is a little steep, but I mean, we don't have... Well, we do have a choice, but I think we should try to stack up a bit here. Jason Zucker, 5.5 million. Okay, we're gonna have to start finding some budget players here soon, but yeah, I think we're we're loading up a little bit now. Hopefully, we can find some more affordable players coming up. Stasny, 3.75. Like, it's not, you know, crazy. It's not good either, but I'll take it for now. Scott Mayfield, 1.4 milli, 34th overall. That is a good find right there. We now have five defensemen. Wayne Simmons, let's go, baby. Second round. Absolutely sign me up. You know what? Screw it. We're going to pick up Nick Robertson. Second round, 53rd overall. Let's let's do it. 75 overall isn't the best, but it's, you know, it's okay. So we need a total of three more forwards and one more defenseman. Rask is a second round guy here. Four million, though. That doesn't leave us with a lot of room left. Oh, man. All right, well, and we already have four... I'm, I'm just going to take them. Marco Scandella. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be finished on the defensive category there. So now we just need two more forwards, and we are done. And we have eight million. So you know what? We're actually in a pretty good spot here. I kind of want to take Milan Lucic, even though he's making 5.2, just because. And then we'll have to find, like, a cheap, you know, <laughs> final player, but... I think it's worth it. Richard Panic, sure. Uh, yeah. He's only making 1.3. 
79 overall. Let's go ahead and pick up this man's to complete our team. Okay. I really don't even want to... Oops. I went to Sim Entire Draft. I don't want to make any predictions because... Every time I do, they're miserably wrong. All right, chemistry isn't really our best friend, but I don't care at this point. So yeah, here's here's the team. <laughs> I just want to kind of go through quickly and make sure that everyone is in fact a second round pick. Okay, so yep, yeah, that was good for forwards. On defense, here we go. Uh, I moved Petrie down one just to get that plus two because otherwise it looks like that. So might as well get another plus two there. So second, yep, yeah, all second rounds. And then in net, we've got Jake Allen and Nez Declassified. Both second rounders. All right. So if I had to guess based on this team, I really don't know. I'm going to say <laughs> we we don't look that good. Uh, we have good defense. Our forwards just aren't really there. We don't have... Man, this is tough. That first line might be able to get it done. Okay, I'm going to say Bergeron gets the most points with 75. But I'm going to say we make the playoffs with 40, 42 wins. So we're not looking great so far. But... We're not looking awful, I guess. All right, once again, I'm just going to go do best lines. I don't know why I continuously... If Jeff Petrie is leading the team right now. Wow. All right, well, best lines, here you go. Yeah, get rid of all my chemistry. Love it. Great. That's awesome. There you go. There's the team. Ooh, Nick Robertson's already up to 79 overall. Look at this guy go. All right, EA just has the magic formula. That's it, okay? Um... There it is. Just go on like a huge winning streak. If your team is ever simulating poorly, just go do best lines and you'll be amazing. That's usually how it works. All right. Well, I'm going to keep our trading block the same, but we will jump into the trade deadline just to see who's there, I guess. So Malkin, we got Marty. We got Tori Krug, Radulov, William Carlson, Suter. Were any of these guys taken in the second round? <laughs> That's the question. I feel like Tori Krug was taken like late, wasn't he? He, yeah, wasn't taken at all, so that's pretty late if you ask me. We could get William Carlson, so there's that. It's on the block, 5.9 million. Um, let's see what we can do. All right, sure, you can have uh, Rosen, 68 overall. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then, is there any, like, goalies you want? Goalies matching the block? Hunter Jones? Yeah, you, you can have this guy as well, I suppose. I still don't know the trade restriction rules you guys want to put in place because, you know, I'm... <laughs> I haven't put out the other video yet. So here we go. We're going to try it. A uh, second Jones and Rose. It probably won't go through. All right. Well, let's try it first then. Boom. Will we be able to get... No, we will not. So that's unfortunate. I will also give you Akil Thomas. Boom. Trade rejected. All right. We're not going to... We would like to take Rose then if you decide to try again. Okay. So you literally only want him. The, the value is honestly still... Okay, never mind. That scared me. I saw the Golden Knights... Asset no longer on team. No. Oh, he got traded. Oh, well, I'm over this. Screw this. This trade deadline sucks. <laughs> Doesn't actually, but anyway, he's still there, apparently, according to this. Anyway, yeah, well, that's it, folks. That's that's about all she wrote. Morgan Frost, uh, Bjorkland, and two first headed to LA for Tori Krug, William Carlson, and Jason Spezza. Well, then, that's a... Huge trade if I've ever seen one. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's just go on the biggest losing streak of all time after the trade deadline. That seems like a sound strategy. Um, playoff hopes? Meh. 42 wins does not look like it's going to get us into the playoffs, though. Even if we do end up with 42. So, we're any more than that. We're at 43. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're done, aren't we? Yep. No, never mind. I thought it said failed to qualify. We actually made it. Oh, my word, we actually made it. So we finished fifth in the Atlantic with 93 points. Where did we finish in the league? Let's find out. I'm actually curious because we probably... Well, we did wild card. Toronto, we got to be down here somewhere. Oh, we're actually 14th and we wild carded? Man, that's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, so there you go. Um, 44 dubs on the year. Not bad. Not bad at all. Who's the lowest team that made it? Is it just top 16? Oh, it is. Oh, that's cool. All right. Neat. Yeah. Um, so that's that's not bad. For points, we had Jeff Petrie with 58. Where are you, Patrice? 57. With a dash 23. And Justin Falk was a dash 32. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway. Yeah, there's our stats. Let's have a look at the tendies. How'd they do? So, Ned did all right. Alan, meh. I mean, 898, 290. Ned really isn't that much better, I guess. So, they did about the same. Um, let's check out the entire league. So, we had Mrazic. With 42 dubs, 906 save percentage. Freddy's right there. All right. Um, have a look at the skaters now. 
Matthews with 98. No one broke 100 this year, so that's interesting. Rantanen, Crosby, Panarin. Um, I'll check out defensemen too, just in case anyone's curious about the defense. So we got Adam Fox with 70, Hughes 68, Sergachev. There you go. And on that note, it is time to get first rounded, baby. Here we go. Simulate. Tampa Bay is going to annihilate us. Okay. We're hanging in there. It's game seven. Game seven with a dub. Oh, we took an overtime loss. They barely scraped by us. Unbelievable, man. All right. And they go on and they go on to win the cup. Obviously. That's usually the way it works, right? Congrats, Tampa. Yo, the Seattle Kraken won the President's Trophy. That's hilarious. But Tampa also tied them, and so did the Senators, and so did the Canadians. Sharks were only down by one, so wow. That's a very close run, if I do say so myself. Patriot 88 overall, good stuff. All right, well, let's check out the awards here, I suppose. Tampa Bay with the cup, as we saw. Kraken, Presidents, Colorado gets the clearance as Campbell. Prince of Wales to Tampa, obviously. Austin Matthews with the Art Ross and the Heart. Adam Fox gets the Norris. Matthews with the Lady Bang. Denisenko gets the Calder. Okay. Tyler Sagan with the Colin Smythe. Hellebuck with the Vesna and the Jennings. Carlo takes home the Masterton. Fisher with the Jack Adams. Kopitar has the Selkie. Austin Matthews with the Lindsay and the Richard. Good year for him, I must say. Here's the playoff tree. That's how it went down. They breezed past everyone except for us too. Unreal. Okay, well, it is what it is. Um, here's the AHL, just because why not? It was one button away. So yeah, there we go. That draft was, you know, it was a solid team in my opinion, but didn't really turn out that way. Um, actually, that's a lie. When I first looked at our roster, I was kind of like, eh. So I changed my mind. I'm proud of the boys. I'm also curious to see what some of the players finished at. So Hints with 85. I think that's what he started at, actually. Um, Petrie went up by one. Wayne Simmons went up by one or two, I think. I think Edmondson might have gone up one or so. I think Tatar dropped one. Yarn Crook, that seems about right. Okay, so yeah, Robertson ended up finishing at 79. Akil Thomas finished at 76, but he didn't play for us anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Seattle had Patrick Kane, Nick Backstrom, Larkin, Barry, Giordano, Giriano, Raquel. Okay, yeah, they, they had a good team, so understandable. Have a nice day. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Who'd they have in net? Goaltenders, they had Dreger, so he's actually on their roster. And then Ian Scott as the backup. All right. And who Tampa ended up winning the cup. So they had Tuka Rask and Fransuz. I still am not fully sure how to pronounce that lad's name, but hopefully I'm close. They had Panarin, Besser, Sagan, Burns, Carlson. So again, yeah, very good team. Understandable. Have a nice day. Petrie also led our team in playoffs. He had six points in seven games. Guy's a beast. All right. Well, I guess that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see third overall or third rounders next, let me know. I keep mixing that up. If you want to see that next, let me know. If you have any other ideas, throw it out there as well. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's about it. Leave a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you soon.